Hello, this is Pastor Chris, and today is our final day of our Daniel Fast devotional videos. All I can say is, you did it. I'm excited to be sharing on this 21st Daniel Fast devotion. I'm even more excited that you're receiving it because it means you've spent 21 days drawing closer to God. I can't wait to see what God's gonna do in your life, in your experience, in our church in 2023. I encourage you to walk boldly and let the voice of faith silence all those voices of fear that would try to crowd into your mind. Remember, fear isn't from God because God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. Moving forward, continue to step out and trust God, expecting that something amazing is about to happen. Here's what I believe. It's all going to happen because you had the faith to get out of the boat, to step up, to take the challenge, to trust God, to run hard after Him. Peter is famous for sinking when Jesus came walking on the water to meet His disciples. They all got wet, 11 of them with rain, and Peter in the sea. But at least Peter had the courage to step out of the boat, take the risk, and go to Jesus. The rest of them didn't, and missed the opportunity to experience the miracle of walking on the water and being personally rescued by Jesus. You've gotten your feet wet through this 21 days of prayer and fasting, and I'm telling you that God has your breakthrough on the way. Moving forward in 2023, keep this in mind. Stay humble. Submit your will to the will of God. Simply put, humble prayers are powerful prayers. Surrender your life to Him be humble before Him, and He will exalt you. The second thing is, be specific. The blind man outside of Jericho, when he heard Jesus, called out to him. And Jesus said, what would you want me to do? And he said, I want to receive my sight. And Jesus said, your faith has made you whole. Thirdly, be persistent in your prayers. Even when you don't see the results right away, continue to hold on to God. The Bible tells us that we should knock and keep on knocking. We should seek and continue to seek. We should ask until we receive because that persistence causes our prayers to get through, causes God to move on our behalf. Jesus said it in Matthew chapter seven, and I believe it for our life today. And the last thing I would share with you is cultivate an expectation, a hopeful expectation that God is gonna show up no matter how long it takes. Remember, whatever you've been praying and fasting for, Jesus paid the price for it on Calvary and that the work is already done. I leave you with today's scripture reading so that you can build on the momentum you've already started in these 21 days of fasting and prayer. But this isn't the end, it's the beginning. It's the beginning of great things that God is gonna do and is doing in our life. In Philippians chapter four, Paul writes to the church at Philippi and says this, always be full of joy in the Lord. I say again, rejoice. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all that you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all that He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything you can understand. His peace will guard your heart and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. And now, dear brothers and sisters, one final thought. Fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure and lovely and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 8. God bless you. Have a great 2023. I'm praying for you and believing that God's going to do amazing things in your life.